I mean, the, the game, it was just uh, it was a pitcher's duel, obviously. Uh, they, played, they played a lot better defense than we did. Uh, the amazing thing is that I, I think our defense might, might have cost us one run or none. Our pitchers did a tremendous job of working out of jams. And, uh, you know, we just, we just did not do much against Greenhill. I mean, bottom line, he, he just he put it on us. And, uh, he gave them seven solid innings, seven quick innings. Uh, defense, like I said, made two or three really nice plays behind him. And, uh, you know, obviously we didn't do anything. Matt? You mentioned their defense more. Their second baseman made three or four really good plays for them. How big of an impact did you feel like he made on the game? Well, he made a, he made a couple of nice plays, turned double play. And, uh, you know, we just didn't do a very good job either <laughs> of – of hitting hitting pitches that were hittable and uh, getting in hitters counts, but their defense, whenever they had an opportunity, uh, they came through and made a big play. Really, maybe the play of the game was the center fielder. You know, we're we're down one run, leadoff man, and he dives for a ball. If it gets by him, it's a double or a triple. Uh, but uh, he made a tremendous play. And Kevin Copps, I think he had eight strikeouts and thirty one pitches at one point tonight. What can you say about his performance? I mean, his, his pitch and his performance was great. I mean. Uh, we brought him in and we had, uh, you know, three innings uh, left. We felt like we were down a run, that we were going to be able to score a run or two. And Kevin was the right one to bring in at the time. You know, we didn't want to look back and say, hey, we gave up a run here or there. We should have just gone to Kevin uh, because we felt like we were going to score, but, but we didn't, obviously. Robert? Hey, Coach, uh, how encouraged were you to see Wicklander go out there and back up his, his really good start from last weekend against Mississippi State? Yeah, that was exciting to see that he came out and, you know, threw a lot of strikes and mixed in some breaking balls, a few change-ups, and, you know, gave us an opportunity to get into the game. Um, they had him on the ropes there, I think, in the – I don't know, maybe might have been the second or third inning, and uh, he worked out of it. It really worked out of a couple of jams, but – uh, it was really good to see. It's something we can keep, you know, we can build on. Matt, back to you. When uh, you got doubled up there in the ninth inning, was Gregory running on that, or, or was there any thought of sending him if he wasn't on that one-two pitch? No, the pitcher was 1-1 one, one to the plate, almost impossible to steal on. I uh, got power hitters up. There's no way I was going to run him there. Line into a double play. Um, you know, that just wasn't the right time to do it. Um, no, he was not running on that on that play, on that pitch. Robert, anything else? Yeah, Coach, uh, what do you guys need to do to come out uh, tomorrow and try to even the series? I mean, we need to, we need to swing the bat better. We need to play defense better at the, from what I saw tonight. So uh, give, the, give Auburn credit. They did a great job. They came in here needing to win, and they got one right there. And, uh, Green Hill, you know, he gave them that opportunity, and they made all the plays behind him, and they played inspired baseball. Coach? Dave, you mentioned your defense. Y'all have been so good all year. Was it just kind of one of those nights where it just kind of all happened at once, or what do you attribute that to you? Well, the one throw was the ball was wet, and he didn't get a grip on it, uh, the last air. Fortunately, we didn't, they didn't score on it. We were still only down a run, and then – the double play ball, you know, my, my second baseman was a little bit deep and third baseman looked up and didn't and realize he wasn't there yet and obviously made a bad throw. Uh, so we, we, you know, th that just can't happen. Um, you know, the play that Battles made early in the game, his, the only play he had was his first base, and I don't know why he threw his second. And, um, you know, so I don't know, just a couple of, of plays that were almost more mental than physical, in my opinion. And then you mentioned Greenhill uh, for Auburn. What, what was he doing specifically that kind of gave y'all problems? We got ahead of about every hitter. I think he walked one or none on the night. Looks like none looking at this. So, uh, you know, he just spotted it up away, would bust you in, a little breaking ball, pitch anywhere from 86 to 92, changing speeds, and uh, just pitched. And uh, he, he did a great job. Matt, anything else? All right, thanks for your time, Coach.